Hi there, it's Jen from Lift Life Integrated Fitness Training and let's talk power training. I've been posting and writing about power training recently because it's a really important part of a fitness program for women over 40. <clears throat> power training helps us build and maintain what were called the type two muscle fibers. And these are big, powerful muscle fibers. And these are the ones that we use for, you know, all of our fun recreational activity, like pickleball and hiking. But it's also the muscles that we use a lot in just our activities of daily living. The challenge is that type two muscle fibers happen to be the ones that tend to decline first um, in the aging process. And so power training, in particular can help us combat this particular part of the aging process. But when I say power training, people get, sometimes women get intimidated. I hear things like that's for men. I hear things I'm not strong enough. I, I don't have good knees. Um, I'm too old to be able to do that. And what I wanna show you today is that you can incorporate power training regardless of your age or your strength. <clears throat> there's a way to incorporate in this and begin to build this idea of power into your workouts. When I say power, I really mean resistance, like body weight and gravity, combined with speed. And it's really that speed aspect that takes a regular strength exercise into a power exercise. So I'm gonna use a squat. A squat, basic um, squat, is just a resistance move where we're coming down in and we're strengthening the legs. The first option for converting or taking this into a power move is to start off with a chair. This is great if you have some mobility or stability challenges. You're in the chair, don't use a rolling chair, use a sturdy chair. <laughs> but our focus here, knees are gonna come over our second and third toes, our abs are gonna be drawn in, we're gonna be pushing through the heels, just like in a regular squat. But now we're gonna focus on that explosive movement or standing up as quickly as we can. So we're gonna come up, and then we're gonna sit as slowly as we can. And we're gonna come up, and come down. So that's option number one. Great for beginners, great if your mobility or your stability needs some support. Option number two is to do this standing. Again, we're not gonna jump like you might see. We're gonna do a squat, but we're gonna focus on coming slow and exploding up onto our toes and coming down slow and exploding up onto our toes. This is a way to create power without a jump. Next, let's add the jump, but let's say you're nervous about jumping. Maybe you have a knee pain before, there's all kinds of reasons, but maybe jumping is, you know, you're not too sure about. The way to start it is to first start by stabilizing after you land. So you'll jump. You'll give yourselves three to five seconds to stabilize, draw the abs back in, check your form, and go again. And now for me, certainly, I have knee problems a lot when I was younger, and this is how I began to incorporate jumping back into my workout until a place now where I feel pretty comfortable with jump, jumping, and I don't have a lot of pain associated with jumping anymore. You can obviously add speed now and repetitions to make it harder. And then the last option is you can certainly do a box jump and jump up onto something. That's kind of the most complicated and I'm just starting to do these. But what you notice is I'm not jumping down. Whenever we do these jumps up, it's a step down. We don't wanna be jumping backwards and off it. So I hope you can see with those kind of four examples that power training, regardless of your equipment that you have, your age or your current ability, it is something that you can add in and it can be part of your program for aging well. Have an awesome day.